Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Evan, and we're back with Mike in the beautiful, beautiful 2008 Toyota Highlander. And, uh, well, we're kicking it off with an Amsoil 100% synthetic liquid gold oil change. But first, we got to do the engine flush. Hamlet's got the flush in hand. Let's do it. Go ahead and stick her in. This is your first time to the channel, definitely subscribe. We did the uh, transfer case gear lube on this little angel and we did the uh, differential, rear diff. So we put the flush in, it's like a real thin detergent. Lift it up just a little so they can see it. Super thin and what that does is it gets all this carbon around the rings, kind of builds up over the years and you lose compression. And then all you do is motor her up, let her idle for 15 minutes. Mike's gonna get in. Whoop! Go ahead and motor her up. So yeah, so it's gonna kind of melt this uh, this carbon buildup, kind of like burning butter in a frying pan. It's all inside that engine over the years. Even though it's got low miles, 80,000 miles, it still has a lot of buildup. So while it's idling, all that's gonna circulate through the system and then uh, it's gonna end up in the oil filter. So the oil filter is gonna catch all those contaminants, change the filter, put in the 100% synthetic motor oil, and shaboom. All right, so it's circulating right now. I want you to hear what the motor sounds like before. This is what it sounds like. Time to go ahead and throw in the PI performance improver, cleans the injectors, the valves, and uh, well, you get a big bump in performance, smoother idle operation. This goes in every 4,000 miles, and uh, it's just a, a nice way to keep the fuel system tip top shape. Nothing you have to do, but it's something you definitely want to do because you want that extra power and uh, MPG, gas mileage. And uh, that's all you do every 4,000 miles, that easy. Right, we got her. Uh, we got her all uh, idled for 15 minutes. We got the socket. What size socket is it? 15 mil. Oh, 14. All right, and now we're gonna go ahead and drain her down. That's the bolt right there, and that is the oil filter. And this is gonna be easy peasy because you can have one oil pan and drain them both at the same time. So it'll be super duper hot. So it's gonna come out real quick. Kind of like water. Give you a little light here. She's getting ready to drain down. It's hot. It's hot. Going completely bare fingered. It's a hot one. Here she blows. Not even that hot, really. Oh, yeah. Money. Money. So that's it. You just let her. Uh, Drain down, 6.4 quarts coming out, and then it'll be time to go ahead and crack our filter. That's just about it. Also, check out the video on this where we did the uh, the transfer case right here. We did the gear lube on that, and we also did the rear differential on this car too. So uh, check that video out. Video is right here in the corner. Of the uh, proper wrench, we're gonna use an oil filter wrench with a towel. That way it won't scrape it as bad. So we got her cracked loose. And now it's all by hand, but it is hot. So just go ahead and be ready for it to flow. And it flows. It's gonna come off both sides. And here she blows. Yeah, that O-ring is definitely a little stickler on these. Here we take her off. The beautiful housing. And you're going to see an OEM style filter. So we'll let that drain for a second. Cool. All right, so we're here with Mike, the owner. And uh, we're talking about the last time we did the oil change. Now, this is the AMS oil filter. It's a special synthetic medium, super thick. So on a regular AMS oil filter, there's four of these extra. Uh huh. So that's four more. I mean, that's a certain amount of square footage that going up and down in. Uh -huh. so you see extra filter paper in the filters usually. Yep. And this filter filters better, smaller microns. Yep. And we'll show the micron rating right here. It is 99% efficiency at 20 microns. 
And the other big upgrade is this rubber silicone that doesn't deform. It's super soft. Super thick too. And then you have the upgraded inside back plating so the filter doesn't deform. So now we're going to go ahead and yank uh, the old filter off right now. And you'll get a chance to see what the uh, OEM style looks like. And there she blows. Awesome. Cartridge looks good. See how there's, there's no metal casing on it? Yep. That's why Amzo is metal because this will deform if you leave it in too long. Yep, over the course of a year. Forget to change it or something. Yep, as the oil thickens, it can create a lot more pressure on the oil pump and that whole filter all can collapse. All paper on the inside? Yep. And So that's, that's an OEM style filter. This is the Amzo one, all upgraded back plating. And then the medium, not only is that thicker. Look how thin the ribs are. On you this see one. how thin those ribs are. Less media. Yep. So the median here is probably about two to three times more. And this holds, compared to uh, um, cellulose paper, this holds four times more contaminants. So uh, if you're wondering exactly how much more it holds. So that's compared to cellulose paper. I don't know what that filter is. It may or may not be cellulose paper, but that's the difference. And that's why this filter is good for 15,000 miles. So this filter, this filter is good for 15,000 miles. To show you why this is good for 15,000 miles, this is the Amsoil filter right here, and that's the OEM style. Sometimes these resins can actually come loose, and this whole filter can collapse in. And once that collapse, you can damage the oil pump if this circulates into it. This will never collapse because it's upgraded inside. And then here you have the upgraded medium that's super, super strong with the retainers. And then this doesn't let the oil go by. And the good thing about that is it doesn't let the oil drain back, which you'll notice on a lot of the canister filters, they have an anti-drain back valve. And if that oil drains back when you start it the next time, it doesn't flow right away. And uh, that's the best part about the AMS oil 100% synthetic is the oil flows immediately which about 80% of the wear is on your cold start. So they're down there cleaning up the cartridge. That's Mike, the owner. He's got the fingers inside and he's cleaning up that cartridge good. And it'll be time to take off our rubber O-ring and then slap on a new one. And they were using the AMS oil parts cleaner. This is a really good, powerful parts cleaner and uh, super duper good. Popping off our O-ring rubber, shabubu. And then we're gonna slap on our fresh one. There's two here. Um, the one you don't need to use, that one goes onto this part here, actually comes out. You're just going to drain the oil first, then twist it off. Yep, that center out. cap can come out, but we don't even have to worry about it. So we're just going to throw on our big one. So you just roll it on. We'll grab a fresh quart of oil, signature series, and we'll lube her up. So we'll give you the whole process. You can do it over this just so it catches on there. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you get a little messy. If it ain't fun, it ain't messy. And if it ain't messy, it ain't fun. Are you ready? Yep. Slap her in. And you can see it's not directional. It doesn't click. Now That's it. it. You're good. That's it. Yeah. That's so. it. Yep. There's no clicking. It's not directional. Just sets in. You're good. Yeah. That's it. That's yep. It. It's that easy. With the pressure, once you push it down. I think it's Hamlet's, it in, it's Hamlet's first time doing a Toyota. So the Lexuses and the Toyos are all the same. So even this Lexus over here, same exact thing. So now we're going to get her all nice and wet. Hit your rubbers. And then you can hit your threads. Just dump it on there. Don't be afraid to get into it. Don't be shy. Dump it all over. Beautiful. Good. So you got all the liquid honey on there. You can see it running off. And that's it. And now it'll thread on like butter. It makes it a lot easier to thread it on. And then your, your seal is nice and wet and protected. Because if it ain't wet, it ain't protected. That's why the wetter the better. Got to keep it lubed. You need to go put her on? Yep, her. Slap her on. All right. It's that time to feel her up. Mike's oh, got, <laughs> Mike did it. He's got the golden touch and the golden torch. All right. And the liquid go. gold is going in. Look at it go. Beautiful. Mike's a natural. He's a natural. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Hamlet's coming next. We're putting 6.4 quarts in. 
And uh, that's right, the oil is going to be good for one year, 25,000 miles or 700 idling hours. And I know that's hard to believe. So for everyone out there that they say, hey, I want to see that. If that's, that's a beautiful pour there. You know, I want to see that. Union bartender. Yep. Local union lost. Yep, customer. look at him. There's a bartender in action. So yeah, so uh, if you want to see that in action right here, check out the oil analysis playlist. We got about 10 videos up on there from tractor trailers, Mickey Mouse Hondas, um, you name it. Almost every single type of vehicle, we got the oil change, oil analysis on all those vehicles so you can see the actual real world results of beating the living heck out of a Honda here in Las Vegas with this motor oil. The oil was still good after 20,000 miles and 800 idling hours. So that's about 40,000 highway miles. So this oil really has that capability. So check that out. So we're just gonna keep nailing her, slapping in the uh, liquid gold. And it'll be time to motor up. Our first startup with AMS oil. Three, two, one. Boom. Oh, Mike, it's quiet. Very quiet. I should have started it for you. No, you did. I heard it. Compared to when we did the flushing? Yeah. It's been quiet. Like, you look at my... A lot of people, uh, you know, are fortunate to have a tool like this. So we're going to be able to give it out with the channel and uh, share that type of quality. So that's the reason. That's the reason why we got to uh, give back more. Happy Friday and cheers. Thanks for checking out the Snap-on Tool giveaway. And don't forget, we got some really good coffee down in the description section. Check it out. We got the synthetic oil protection, Eben's favorite coffee. We have that available. And remember to be selected in the giveaway. I hand select people uh, within the first 30 minutes of every video. Go ahead and leave a comment in the description section down below. Right down there, you go below that into the comment section. If you're looking for the description section, you'll click a little reverse down arrow or you'll click show more if you're on a laptop or a desktop. So definitely uh, be sure to leave that comment and also share this. Share it with a friend. Let them know about the Snap-on Tool giveaway. That way more people can be a part of the channel, learn more about Amsoil, taking care of their vehicles, and of course, having a chance to win a beautiful uh, tool that they can have for a very, very long time. So we're with Mike, and uh, this is his wife's car, and we did the engine flush, motor oil, rear differential, and transfer case gear lube. And uh, today is one of the only days here in Las Vegas that's overcast. Get some driving impressions we'll see what he thinks let you hear it a little bit get the windows down for you i don't hear anything please to my car wow <laughs> <laughs> so mike has basically a street legal nascar it's uh, about 500, well, I'd say, I would guess about 500 wheel horsepower. It's the Charger uh, Scat Pack 6.4 liter, full long tube headers, E85 tune. Yep. And uh, it's a great car. So he's like, I don't hear nothing when he listens to this thing. And, uh, I try not to drive this as much as I can. <laughs> <laughs> but how does it feel though compared to today when you drove it over? Oh, very smooth, uh, even going through the shifts. Uh, even though we didn't do the training, just the differential on the transfer case, you can you can already tell the, the shifting was very, very smooth. And uh, and even the startup, when we started it up, very quiet uh, compared to when we did the motor flush startup. So maybe you can tell the difference once you run the video. Sweet. Take a look at the mileage, only, what is it, 75? Yeah, yeah, that's it. 75,000. 75, wow. Yeah. So we're here at the south side of Las Vegas, and uh, we're gonna go back, and uh, we're probably gonna be doing the coolant. Probably the transmission looks a little tricky, 
and uh, you'll see if uh, you'll see the transfer case. It was a little bit of a stickler to get to, but hey, we got it done, and that's all that counts. And uh, if you take care of your car, it'll take care of you. So if you're uh, new to the channel, definitely subscribe, tap that notification bell. You'll be able to see when we do the other videos on this car. And uh, also check out that oil analysis playlist. And um, if you're also new to the channel, remember to leave a comment within the first 30 minutes. That way you can come back and uh, you'll have a chance to be in the end of month giveaway. So we do that every uh, last Saturday of the month. So we're giving some monster tools away this month. It's going to get bigger, so leave that comment and uh, check out the playlist here in the middle. We'll see you back. Thanks again, Mike. Thank you. You're the best. Boom. Cheers, Cheers. to protection, protection, protection.